San Diego police have made a break in a nearly 22 year old cold case murder in the college area, but they are still hoping for some new leads. They're looking for anyone with a connection to the victim. This woman, Nicole Weiss, who was finally identified. Fox 5's Kasia Gogorczyk is live in the college area with the new details in this case. Kasia. Yeah, good evening, Kathleen. And police were just pretty recently able to identify Nicole. So now they are hoping any new information will help lead to the person responsible for her murder. It was January 24, 2000, when crews responded to a fire in this parking lot off College Avenue. Once on scene, the San Diego Fire Department was extinguishing the body of a female whose hands had been cut off. Next door to the church parking lot was an apartment complex. I conducted a witness check and spoke to a gentleman who had been outside moving his car. He could see the flames from the other side of the wall. The flames were so intense that he could see them from his side. That woman remained unidentified for nearly two decades. It wasn't until 2020 that genealogy technology would produce DNA matches, leading investigators to members of the victim's family. Biological father was deceased, but had a child, Kimberly Beach, living in Michigan. We talked to Ms. Beach, who advised us she had a sister who lost contact with the family in the late 1990s. We obtained Kimberly Beach's DNA and compared it to Jane Doe. It verified they are biological siblings. We now had Jane Doe's real name, Nicole Weiss. Nicole Weiss was just 21 when she was found murdered. Now, nearly 22 years later, police and her family are hoping to put a spotlight on the case, looking for anyone who may have known Nicole. If anybody could help answer some of those questions, it would just help my family and I have, have that, that closure, that peace. I know that she would want us to have. And anyone with information about this murder is asked to call a San Diego Police Homicide Unit or Crime Stoppers. As always, you can remain anonymous. Reporting live in the college area tonight, Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. And after all this time, this family now having to relive all of this. All right, our Kasia Grigorczyk, thank you so much.